Welcome back everyone in another FEMAP tutorial and in this one we're gonna take a look at working with some beams, some types, some orientation and we're gonna update this uh, example that we did a few videos ago. This was a tutorial where we set up this uh, truss and uh, we used rod elements. Now we're gonna replace them and add actual beam types. We're gonna update it with T shape elements and if you don't know how this was set up make sure you go back in the playlist and find this video I'm gonna put it in the description as well so you can find it easily but uh, I'm gonna start it right here where the lines the elements the nodes and forces constraints are all already set up and we also had our rod remember set up we had rods and we're gonna change this okay all right, let's get started. If you wanted to visualize it, push F6, go to labels, element, 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 uh, orientation and shape, over here cross section, and uh, click on this one, apply. And if you want to zoom in, let's uh, go to this corner over here. We can see the shapes of our rods that we initially set it up with, right? These were the rods. We're gonna replace that with T-shapes. Let's go up to model property. This one's gonna be T, no, T-shape, T-shape, material, my material, because we had it already defined. So here we're not gonna use the rod that we had in the previous setup we're going to change it to a bar okay very good and now we're going to go into the shape we're going to go to the standard library pick t section fill out its properties the height gonna be 0.2 width 0.15 thickness of the web and flange 0.02 0.02 uh, we're gonna orientate it Y up the local Y axis it was on the right side click up and then it goes that way if you update any of these or uh, something 0 0.5 make sure you click draw section so it updates for you I'm gonna leave it 0 0.2 draw section there it is Y up OK click OK all the data from it will be transferred here and make sure you click OK, cancel, and now you can go and check it in your properties, and it's right there. If you, let's say, forgot something, made a mistake, just right click, edit, it brings it right back. You can go back to shapes and everything. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and replace our rods with the beams. We're going to go to modify, update element, and element type. Let's pick, pick all of them and we can highlight, make sure, OK. And we don't want this guy anymore, we want the, our T-shape, so OK, along with a vector. And now it's asking what direction do I want to line up the local Y coordinate that we selected in the properties with this three-dimensional global coordinate system. So remember here, we set up the local coordinate of this beam with the Y pointing up, right here. This is what we picked, Y pointing up. This is what we set up and that's what's asking, how do we want to match that versus this? So I'm going to say the local Y match with the global Y. So leave the, this is a unit vector thing. So leave the base always at zero, don't complicate it, and the tip make it uh, y in the one in the y direction. Okay, now let's check how did it come out, because we might be surprised what happened. So labels, kind of cross-sectional area, show, apply. Okay, so let's zoom in. Does this look okay and feasible how we like it? But let's say I wanted all of them to have their T bottom facing inwards. 
So we just need to go and modify this one. So click on modify, element update, element orientation. It's asking which of the elements do I want to orientate this one. Click OK, leave vector. Now it's asking what kind of orientation I want to give it. So I want it to rotate it 180 degrees. So basically flip it upside down. So let's click on locate. I want it to face the vector going along the y axis basically, the other direction. The, so let's put this one negative y. Okay, and see it flipped it upside down. Press Ctrl G to update the view and get rid of the old view. And there you have it. Now all of them are facing with their bottom side in and inside out. So they all match the same orientation. Now just for the fun of it, let's do an analysis on it. Go to oh let's um let's change this pin to a fixed edit constant. One, this was pinned, so let's change it to fixed. Everything is held in place. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's go to model analysis. Uh, new one. Okay. And analyze. We're going to leave it on the static analysis because this is all static. And complete. Okay. Let's see what can we visualize on it. Let's go up to view, select, uh, deform, beam diagram, right here. Uh, let's click over here. Let's see total translation. Click OK. OK. There you go. So that's that. What else can we, if you wanna, don't want to go to view options, just click F5 same place. Let's take a look at uh, maybe the stress. Stress, 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 where is stress? Force. Rod, axial stress. Good. Okay. Okay. Sideways, you can see a bit. What if I wanted to uh, put output a list of uh, results? Let's go to list output results to data table. Leave these as is. So let's say um, the torsional stress. No, we don't have torsional stress. What the other stress? Rod axial stress. There you go. Axial stress, OK. Uh, select all the elements, all three. OK. And we see over here, it's going to give us a nice table of the IDs of the elements, the information that we requested, and then down here, max value at what element, minimum value at what element, and sum and average. There you go. Just a few of the things that we can visualize and check. Let's see what else. What if? Uh, well, let's see what else. Uh, what if we want to set up a free body diagram to see what's what? Uh, let's uh, push this down out of the way. Uh, we're gonna go to to to, to post processing right here. Free body. Click on this one. New free body diagram or add. New free body diagram title FBD. Okay, done. Here, go down free body elements. Click on this one, select free body elements, select all of them. Okay, and there you go. We have our reaction forces, our components. have it and up at the top as well. Alright, well that should do it for this video. 
hope you guys liked it make sure you like and subscribe and tune in for the next one have a good one